Hello everyone and welcome back to the course. Now this section is very serious, dear to my heart. Open house safety tips. Because as agents, as professionals, we need to be on our guard. We need to be secure about when we're conducting open house that we know what we're doing and we got our our backs covered. Uh, so this section, I, I cut it up. This is the introduction. But this this section, I cut it up in two parts because each part is over 15, 20 minutes long. And I know it's a lot of material, but it has to be covered. And I don't see nobody out there talking about these safety issues in depth like I'm going to go over. We're going to be talking about knowing your neighborhood, doubling down, not just talking to the listing agent, talking to the homeowner, uh, looking up tax records. We're, we're talking about talking to the neighbors, talking to maybe the neighborhood open watch, who's ever in charge, checking in with them, exchanging information. That way they can let you know if something's not right or you can let them know that something's not right. And after the open house, you check in with them, uh, your real estate office, your friends, family, your husband, your wife, uh, apps that's going to allow you to sign in where you can like make sure that after you do your open house, you have to sign back in. If you don't, it's going to automatically syndicate to the office, your friends, family, and even to the authorities that, hey, something's wrong, something you, you need to check. Also, we're going to go a little bit into Megan's Law, you know, uh, different sexual offenders that have to sign in, check in, uh, and let you know where, where they're staying at. And, hey, it's all over the country. You can't avoid this. You know, some people are like, well, hey, I'm going to move somewhere with no sexual predators. They're everywhere. Also, we're going to go into digital technology. I, I believe in worst case scenario, your job is not to be a security guard, observe and report. You don't want to be like taking names and numbers of people's cars and just in case something happens. That's why I say check with your, your brokerage, but I'll put a sign out in the front and say, hey, digital surveillance, have those portable digital surveillance devices. That way you, you're protecting yourself and the patrons is coming in to look at the property. Strap in, get a cool drink or beverage, and let's get into uh, safety tips for real estate agents. See you in the next lecture.